The Bahamas National Council for Disability getting some much-needed upgrades to its Collins Avenue headquarters courtesy of its long-standing partnership with the United States Embassy. The council president, Sheila Kalma, told the visitors that their efforts have made a quite a difference. They're here to lend a helping hand and so we're getting a facelift in terms of cleaning because amongst ourselves and members, our members are not really capable of doing this kind of work. We need the muscles of able-bodied persons. It's very, very important um, that we get this kind of help because we are a volunteer group. We are a non-government organization. Therefore, funds, funding is very, very limited and they are offering their services free of charge. While in Nassau this week, the crew of the United States Coast Guard rendered assistance where they could. Joining in the efforts were members of the Youth Build Bahamas. It's a pilot program which currently has 50 young unemployed people undergoing skills training. The program is sponsored by the United States Embassy and the Inter-American Development Bank. Case manager Simone Bow spoke on the importance of the program, while the operations officer with the Coast Guard cutter, Megan DeLeden, commented on the initiative. They have a lot of um, room here, however, it's been very neglected. So we were able to sweep out all the rooms, um, do some painting in a lot of their walls, remove any discarded and really old out of use furniture, um, and really do a big clean sweep through the whole building. So that way they can make it a usable, uh, functional building for their purpose of their duties for uh, Council for Disabilities. One of the main objectives of the program is to get young people, in particular young people who may be considered at risk, uh, to understand their role as a part of community building and to, to participate in the safety and security of our communities and to understand that it's not about breaking down but it's about building up.